Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful new year so far. It's already February, and you know what that means. It's time to start planning our Halloween decorations for the year. So I've actually, um, you know, I haven't got all of my Halloween stuff even put away from last year. A lot of it's just a big pile in my basement waiting to go into the storage room. At this rate, I might as well just leave it out because it's only going to be a couple months till we start putting it out anyway. But... Um, like I said, it's time to start planning, and I got in the mood a little bit because I got an email from Spirit this week, and I don't typically open the Spirit emails. I know that's probably uh, something a lot of you are like, what? Why wouldn't you open those emails? But you know, it's usually just garbage advertising, so I completely ignore it. I don't know what possessed me to open it, but I saw something cool that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully you haven't seen it, and this will be interesting for you, but if you have... I guess we can just review it together. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Spirit website. All right, so here we go. Um, it is Dr. Seuss rhyme time, apparently. But we're going to go ahead and scroll down because I think, yeah, right here, here he is. I don't know if this is a new guy for this year or not, but I thought this guy looked pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and click in the animatronics section. And uh, there he is. This is a 5.6, I guess it's a little over five and a half um, foot, Dr. Lume, 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 Dr. Lume animatronic decoration. And uh, we'll come back to him in just a moment. Let's take a quick skim through the animatronics to see what else they've got interesting. Because I went to the Spirit Halloween store this last year. And I didn't do a video, I think, for the first year in a while because they just didn't have anything fun on display. Like, look at this. We've got a two-headed clown with a, well, I guess they call it two scoops animatronic. Looks like a little kid in a cone. I'm uh, not sure if I really enjoy that. Um, what is this guy here? Bloody bag of jokes animatronic. So uh, let's see. He's got a little video. Let's play it and see what he does. Say, how about getting me a drink? I get really thirsty just hanging around like this. How about a Bloody Mary with a long, long, twisty straw? Okay, well, not sure how I feel about that guy. Um, I mean, he could go in a clown scene or a morgue scene, but I don't think it really needs to be mixed. I think clowns or, you know, some sort of creepy morgue Pick one or the other, in my opinion. What is this little guy here? Harriet Hustle animatronic. <laughs> All right, enough of that creepy. I like that she's got the, the knife in her mouth. That's pretty clever. All right, what else have we got going on? I mean, I'm skipping past some of the stuff that I know we've seen in years past. Um, some of these things I've never actually seen in the store. Like, I know this guy's been here for a few years, but I've never actually seen him. Um, let's see, what else have we got? What is a cellar dw dweller? Let's see what this guy does. This dank old house is oozing with the foul stench of rotten souls. It's kept me thriving as long as I hide down here with the rats. I'm happy to share with you if you have the stomach for it. <laughs> All right, I hate to say it, but I'm a little disappointed in this guy. He is seven feet tall, so that's an impressive prop. He kind of sounds like that one animatronic you may have seen in my display. Um, that sort of old chain top hat ghost man. Um, so I wonder if it's actually kind of the same, uh, same equipment going on. It certainly sounds like the same voice. But there's just nothing interesting about this guy. I mean, he could kind of seem like a zombie. But then why is he seven feet tall? I just can't see how I would fit that into my theme. Here is a bride. Let's go ahead and click on her. Hmm. 
Well, a crying bride, I mean, uh, I feel like something else should have happened. It would have been kind of cooler if her crying had turned into laughter or something creepy. But otherwise, that's uh, a little lackluster there. Right, what's on the next page? Yeah, I always love the look of this one. Let's go ahead and click on it. I know this one's been out for a few years for sure, but I think it is a pretty cool looking prop. She never eats, she never sleeps, she never speaks, but she knows how to haunt you. It seems I've trained her very, very well. <laughs> All right, he's uber creepy. I think I would have preferred if his mouth moved just a little bit more, make it a little bit more realistic. Don't think I've seen this one before. Five foot Ophelia animatronic. Wow, okay. Um, I think there's something about her crying that almost doesn't sound like crying, which makes this seem like a very inappropriate prop. So, um, wow, okay, let's just move on. All right, we've got a roaming spider. I like the Pennywise, we'll save him for next, but first I wanna look at experiment number four. I think this was out last year too. I love the jumpy things. Jumpy things are always good for a scare, so could easily incorporate that somewhere. And it's only $100, unlike someone like Pennywise here, which actually I was almost going to get this last year. It was hard to get anything, so I kind of uh, went back on that plan. But let's look. Did you miss me? Again, jump scare, love it. I was going to do a little bit of a sewer theme as an intro into my haunt last year, but I just had to cut something out. I was getting too overwhelmed. All right, but let's go back to the one guy that I was interested in to begin with. Dr. Lume is how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, and he is like a mad scientist with his little potion bottle. Um, and I think, well, I've had this plan sort of playing in the back of my mind for several years that I've wanted to do a, not just a mad scientist theme, but kind of like a Jekyll and Hyde theme. And this is the perfect guy to be my Dr. Jekyll taking his potion um, before he turns into the crazy Mr. Hyde. And I kind of had this one, well, I'll tell you about what I want to do with him later, I guess, but let's go ahead and watch this video. I, I like the fact that he could be a zombie. Um, he could be drinking this potion. You could do have lots of zombies around as if, you know, somehow this potion has infected everybody. I like that he doesn't have stupid phrasing. The groaning could be a little better, but it's not bad. Let's see what the description says. The good doctor had the perfect life with a lovely wife, two adorable children, a nice house, and a thriving practice. Unfortunately, this good doctor spent his time cheating his patients by making their prescriptions in his home lab. When his nurse found out, he went mad with fear and swallowed all his latest concoction to spare his family from the truth. But the results of this experiment turned out much, much worse. Turn any home into a secret evil laboratory when you put the Dr. Lume animatronic on display in your home. His green glowing LED light eyes, gurgling screams, and rocking torso will terrify any guests 
who entered your lair this Halloween. Just want to take a quick peek at that video again. Okay, I think I was a little distracted when I was watching it the first time. So he definitely has his rocking and it kind of makes his arm move around. Gives us some realistic motion. I rather like it. Okay, so those are the spirit animatronics on their website right now. Can't wait to see what they have uh, this year. But like I said, I, I've kind of been toying around with the Jekyll and Hyde theme. Not exactly sure how he's going to do it, but I like the idea of when you're entering my haunt at the driveway. You know, if you've watched my walkthrough videos in the past, sometimes I have a, a tent up there that you have to walk through. And I just kind of have this concept like you'd walk into the laboratory inside the tent, but it'd be kind of split in two with like a kind of a dresser, I guess, with a mirror and some potions and things on the, on the dresser. But you can see him on one side, you know, drinking the potion like this guy would be doing. And then as you pass, because that would be the midpoint, and then as you pass it on the other side, it'll be like the exact same scene, but in reverse. And there you see the Mr. Hyde kind of all monstery. Um, so you see on one side Jekyll, and then as you pass through, you see the Hyde. But it's kind of the way you walk through, it kind of you realize it's the same scene, just, you know, in reverse. So I thought that was kind of a fun idea. Then I could play it up with some Victorian sort of uh, characters in the haunt that are being murdered or terrorized or something by the, uh, the Mr. Hyde character. It was just a concept that has been milling around for a while. And now I saw this guy, it kind of got me interested in trying to do it. So maybe I'll start working on that. Uh, this year and uh, make sure that you stay tuned because I will uh, if I do pursue that a little bit more to be doing some crafting with you as we flesh out that display just a little bit but can you give me some ideas in the comments below what do you think about that does that sound interesting to you uh, any kind of thoughts on how I can uh, bring that world to life or death a little bit more and I guess that'll do it for today before I leave I did want to thank my patrons of the month be sure to check out the links in the description of this video to check out all of their channels um, because a lot of them have some wonderful Halloween content as well. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. If any of you would like to help support the channel, again, the link is in the description to my Patreon page as well. So that'll do it again for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, take care and happy haunting.